Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Thursday weigh-in video. Although for you, it's gonna be Friday. It is Thursday, I'm in my office at lunchtime. This is pretty much probably how I'm gonna film these from now on rather than doing trying to do it Thursday mornings at home. Um, it just gives me a little bit more relaxed time. I don't feel like I'm so rushed. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Christy and I'm gonna get right to my weigh-in. So I had um, a pretty good week. I had a couple days that we ate out that I didn't make the best choices. I mentioned in my meal prep video that we had gone out to a breakfast buffet for my father's birthday and I didn't really make the best choices there. It was a buffet and they, they make the best southern breakfast type things and it was it is just so good and I just really enjoy myself every time we go there. So I filled my plate and ate things that I shouldn't have eaten but I only had one plate. I didn't go back up for more so I did okay. And the good thing about that, when I have a huge breakfast like that, I really am not hungry pretty much almost the rest of the day. So I only ended up having a very light dinner. I didn't eat lunch, I had a very light dinner. Saturday, Friday or Saturday, my son had called wanting to know if my husband and I wanted to go to lunch with him and my grandson. So we went to lunch with them and we went to this barbecue place, this local barbecue place that is amazing. And I ate there. Probably, not, again, not the best choices of food, but I didn't do bad as far as how much I ate. So then the rest of the week, I just did real well. I stayed on track. I was real good about tracking everything. My snacks were awesome. I wasn't snacking on chips and pretzels and everything at night. I was using the apples and PB2 idea that I got from my friend Carrie, which I told you about last week. And so that was pretty much my nighttime snack. I loved it. So anyway, I got on the scale this morning and I was down two pounds. That puts me back, no, not back. That puts me at, I'm pretty sure this is my lowest. So I'm now 184 even, and it puts me at a total weight loss of 56 pounds. So I will take it. I was very happy. So two pounds this week, 1.2 pounds last week. I feel like I'm back on again. I didn't expect that much of a loss, but again, sometimes when I do that, when I have that one day that I have, you know, a little bit more than I normally do, and then I get right back and do good the next, the rest of the week, sometimes that happens. My body seems to like that when I have that high day. So let me know in the comments how you all did this week, or if you haven't weighed in yet, make sure to come back and let me know after you weigh in. Y'all know I love seeing those comments. For meal prep review, Breakfast was really not much to talk about. I mean, it was just scrambled eggs, vegetables, and turkey tenderloin. Nothing major to talk about. My husband actually doesn't care for that much vegetables at breakfast, but as I mentioned, I was trying to keep breakfast real low this week so that I could have, I, because I didn't know how much lunch was gonna be. So speaking of lunch, the pizza pinwheels were absolutely fabulous. I don't know if it was so much the pizza pinwheels though or my prego sauce. I really, really love prego pasta sauce. And uh, it's a, I've mentioned it's a little bit of a higher point sauce, but it is just really good. And so I don't know if it was just dipping at those, but so the pinwheels were five, were five points and then my sauce was one point. They were so good and you could put so many things on it, but we absolutely loved them. Uh, and I loved that there was no heating them up. We just grabbed them. They were, we ate them cold. I was worried about them being filling with everything else, the vegetables that I had with it. It was definitely filling enough. So when I got home from work, I wasn't starving. Sometimes if I have a lunch that is not overly filling, by the time I get home, I'm really hungry, but I wasn't with these. I saw a recipe from my friend Anita at Chit Chat Patty Whack. I know a lot of you are already subscribed to her channel. If you're not subscribed, I'm gonna actually put the link not directly to her channel, but to this partic particular video and go check her out. She is a sweetheart, but she made egg bites in the air fryer. She used the little silicone egg bite holder, silicone muffin things, I guess. And so I have got to get some of those. I am going to get some of those because I had no clue that you could even do those in the air fryer. I've seen people do them in the Instant Pot, but I didn't know you could do them in the air fryer. And um, so I'm, I'm really excited to try those. So I'm gonna put the link to that video down in the description box. It's actually a fun video with her and her husband. They're just, they're so fun to watch. They're just those people that make you smile. So make sure to go check her out and you know, show her some love, let her know I sent you. So that's all I have this week. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.